it's Kirsten and Apollo and today we're going over working at Walmart with service dog and kind of like what it entails I'm not going too deep in depth but we're gonna go over like the basics of it Apollo does have his own vest a different a girl from a different store actually gave it to me for 15 bucks um, and she made it out of one of our old vests and I think it's adorable and it has pockets which are amazing for poop bags because you know we need those and he does have his own name tag I made it it's super super cute you can't see it okay there we go I made his own name tag and on the back it says service dog so I think it's absolutely adorable okay so I work in apparel and OGP and what I do in apparel is I answer phones uh, do freight which is all the boxes and stuff that we get from the trucks and put them out on the floor organizing cleaning and and well, I said answering phones I might have I don't know answering phones and folding clothes and organizing everything so it looks really nice at the store when I'm on the floor I have an over-the-shoulder leash that I use so he's still attached to me and he's on a leash which is like the leash laws and everything I do sometimes take the leash off of me because when he like lays it lays down and it puts his head on the ground it doesn't reach from my shoulder to the ground so I just let go of the leash he does this task while I'm like folding clothes or um, going like back and forth between two different things he will people watch for me because I don't know it comes with like the PTSD I guess that I'm terrified of people coming up behind me so Apollo is trained to watch people so like that's Let's say a person's walking right by me Apollo's head like this will be Apollo's head he will like face his head the entire way so all I have to do that know there's a person behind me um, is I just look down look at his head and I can tell exactly behind me where the person is or like, where to the side of me the person is when I'm answering the phones all I do is I put them underneath the desk and clean there sometimes if I'm just like walking a little bit I'll leave him there in his position and I can just go back and forth and that's really all I do in apparel. The other job I have is OGP. So OGP stands for online grocery pickup. And what I do is either I'm picking items for the people who ordered or I'm dispensing, which is taking items out to the cars or I'm sorting. So I'm sorting between all the bins that get picked during the day and I sort them into this in two specific time slots um, so we can easily find them when uh, we need to take them out to the cars. My favorite is sorting. I like to sort. It just like makes me feel in control I guess. When I'm in OGP I put Apollo into a place and what a place is is I tell him to go. It's basically telling him to go lay down somewhere and he cannot move from that spot from that space unless either I tell him to or he needs to task. Um, a lot of the time on OGP I bring a rug that I got from a store for super cheap and he lays on it because it's concrete in the back of the store. He will lay there and I don't need him to people watch for me because I know all my coworkers who work back there with me. Uh, they're super nice but he's still in close enough range to me so he can task when he needs to task. So a lot of commonly asked questions I get. Do a lot of people ask me about my service dog? Yes, tons of people every single day ask me why I have a service dog, what there's a dog do, what a do, why there's a dog in the store, and uh, to that I usually answer it doesn't matter or he's my service dog. Whenever people ask me why I have a service dog, I do not like answering. I used to answer all the time because I didn't really care that much, but if I'm repeating it eight times a day, I don't want to repeat myself that frequently. So, and that goes for most of us service dog handlers too. One time there's this lady, I don't know, maybe in her 50s, who asked me, oh, what kind of dog is he? How old is he? What does he do? Why is there a dog here? First of all, it's super annoying. Like, I'm working. Unless you need help with something at the store, I would love to help you that way. I'm not going to tell you my life story and why I have a service dog. Like, does that make, like, I hope that makes sense to people. But she goes, oh, can I pet him? And I'm like, no, sorry, he's working. Oh, he's working? Yeah, he's a service dog. He's working. And the lady goes, oh, okay. And I turn my back for literally 0.2 of a second, and she's bending down to pet him. And I screamed. The whole store heard me. I was like... Ma'am, you cannot pet him. He is working. And she goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. And literally, he on his vest, they all say do not pet. And they all say, um, do not distract. Like, ah, people are so dumb. Like, I get it. I work at Walmart. It's going to happen. But, like, 
Literally seven year olds, no better. Okay, so on my last TikTok, I um, asked people to give me questions about working at Walmart with a service dog. And I have my computer up with my TikTok, and the comment section is open. And I'm going to ask the questions, what people say, and I'm going to answer them for you guys. Con chronically Annoyed asks, asked me, I'm curious, does Walmart know you vlog about working there with Apollo? Honestly, I don't know. It's Walmart. They're a huge corporation, and uh, yeah, basically that's all it's it. It's a huge corporation. They don't really care. Tons of people do it. Um, and honestly, I'm just building awareness to it, and they uh, shouldn't have a problem with it to begin with. How much does it cost for a service dog? Okay, this is a very, very common question. Service dogs can range from... I don't know, a few thousand to a few hundred thousand. Like, there is there is so many different in-betweens. So, the, I'm physically able enough to help train my dog. So, what I did, I did a 50-50. Um, I spent maybe $5,000 for training Apollo. I spent $1,000 on the dog, plus there's vet bills, plus there's food bills, plus there's... um gear you gotta buy. Apollo's Walmart vest, I bought that myself. Walmart did not have anything to do with that. If you don't have time and you don't have the physical aspect of being able to train your own dog, then you have to be able to get them from a program. And programs are so expensive. What breed is Apollo? Apollo is a Labradoodle. He is 75% Poodle and 25% Lab. What does Apollo do while I'm working? I already kind of went over that. Typically, he's um, staying alert, tasking. He takes naps. Um, he can wake up from a nap super easily to task if he needs to. Um, so, yeah, that's basically all he does. Uh, he walks next to me when I'm walking. He lays down. Where does Apollo go when you use bathrooms in public places? So, this one is huge, guys. Okay, so, I... When I was younger and I didn't have a service dog, I would love to go in the big stalls because why not? They were a big stall. That's super cool, right? No, I don't know why that was cool to me when I was younger, but it was. And it is to a lot of people. Or, oh, there's no disabled person here. Like, I can go in it anyways. If there are smaller stalls and you fit in a smaller stall, just use a smaller stall. I have to fit my body plus my 50-pound dog into a stall while I'm using the bathroom. Those tiny stalls do not fit us. Like, I swear, it's, I've done it. It's Sometimes you just have to. But, especially people from wheelchairs, guys. Like, wheelchair users, any disabled person, walkers, they need that extra room. I like using the ones at Walmart. They're, like, not the huge ones where they have, like, a diaper changing in it. But they have, they're, like, a little bit bigger. So, a pillow can at least, like, walk around and stay next to the door. But, yeah, anyway. He stays in the stall with me when I'm using the bathroom. When working long shifts, how does he eat and sleep? I don't work any longer than a nine hour shift. And nine hour shifts, I get either a half hour, hour break. I usually determine which one I wanna take and I determine that on how I'm feeling. Uh, he doesn't need to eat every nine hours. He eats breakfast and he eats dinner. So he gets his breakfast in the morning and then when we get home from work at night, then he gets his dinner. I don't bring food with us to work unless I bring treats. Um, and I do bring treats quite frequently, uh, cause he's such a good boy. He deserves treats. Um, on my lunch breaks, I do have a collapsible water bowl and I put though I bring that and I let him have some water during our lunch breaks. And uh, he's a dog. He sleeps when he wants to. And like I said, he can fall asleep while I'm working, but he also is able to stay awake and alert when he needs to. And he can wake up from naps easily to alert. What's your dog's name? My dog's name is Apollo. Are you able to handle anything with, with gluten while working without getting sick or what happens when you have gluten? So the first part of their question, yes, I can touch things that I have gluten. Do I wash my hands right away? Yes. Do I use hand sanitizer right away? Yes. Um, because if I go to I don't know, I bite my nails. I have a nervous habit where I bite my nails. So if I have gluten on my hand and I bite my nails that have gluten on it, then I get sick. 
Um, if it's just a tiny bit, I just get migraines, headaches, um, stuff like that, a little bit of a stomach ache. If I eat more than that, like an entire slice of pizza, I could possibly have seizures. Um, I break out in a rash really bad. Uh, my face turns bright red, my stomach hurts to the point of I'm literally holding my stomach in the fetal position because it's in so much pain. And I guess that answered the second part of that question too. How do the customers and coworkers like Apollo? Customers, some of them are like, oh, he's so cute. Some of them are like, why is there a dog here? Some of them are like, yeah, it's a dog. And I respect those people so much. If you just say, oh, look, cute dog, and then keep walking, you are literally my favorite person in the world. Like, if you can do that, you go. <laughs> um, my coworkers love him. Uh, I'm going to make a TikTok soon about um, what I do. Like, Because if people ask me to pet him, sometimes I'm like, yes, especially if we're not doing anything. Especially when I'm in the back of the store in OGP, I don't mind if people, like, pet him. Especially my coworkers. They're, and it's so cute. How did I come up with the name Apollo? That's such a great question. So I have had a dog named Iris. She was a black lab. I had a dog named Zeus. He was a Newfoundland Akita mix. No. Yes, a Newfoundland Akita mix. And I had a girl, a girl in Newfoundland named Pandora. I called her Panda. Um, so therefore, all of my dog's names have been named after Greek mythology characters. I am a huge Greek mythology nerd. Um, I also like Roman mythology. It's, it kind of co coincides, I guess. But uh, Apollo is a gold color, and he is so helpful in my depression and tasking for my depression and anxiety. So I kind of look at it as Apollo is the Greek god of the sun. So I um, kind of looked at his name as um, the light at the end of the tunnel, if that makes sense. Uh, and I have a tattoo of a sun and that symbolizes him. Do you have any people you work with that are allergic to dogs and what do they do if it is? So I made a video about this guys too. So there is no such thing and I've done so much research on this that people cannot be deadly allergic to certain dogs. You can get rashes and stuff. You can get that. For those very, very select few people who are actually very allergic to dogs, they have EpiPens. They know they're that allergic. And if they don't, then I guess I, I guess that kind of, they learn that they're that allergic and they go to the hospital and get diagnosed with an EpiPen. Um, that means they just stay away from me and I stay away from them. Do you have a doggy room for the dog at Walmart while you have to work or where does he go when you're busy? He is right by my side no matter what. Black Friday, right by my side. Christmas, right by my side. It does not matter, he is right by my side. Did you have a Apollo since he was a puppy? Yes, I got him when he was two months old. What's the process to getting a service dog? I will have to do a whole nother video on that, but the first step is talk to your doctor. If they think you need a service dog, that's where you start. What do you do when someone will not leave your service dog alone? I remove myself from the situation. I don't want the customer getting upset, so I remove myself from the situation. If I need to go sit in back for 15 minutes while a customer finishes shopping, I can do that. Um, my managers have given me full okay with that. We're, we're allowed to remove people from the store if they're harassing employees. And Apollo is considered an employee. Do Karens ask, why do you have a service dog? Yes, all the time. I already went over that. What do you do? What happens when he's hungry? He waits until we get home. That's everything, guys. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. If you want to learn more about my service dog, my journey, um, please hit the subscribe button. Follow my TikTok. Hit me up on Instagram. I respond to basically everybody. Just be nice. Um, I'm a generally nice person. So thanks, guys. Have a great day.